Now, development of even the simplest video game is an extremely fluid process. And once you get into the AAA sphere, it's maddening how suddenly plans change amid the hundreds, if not thousands, of moving parts. As such, it's no surprise that things get cut even extremely late into development. Developers often tend to leave the discarded data in the game's files to prevent any unexpected coding issues. Which is what we're going to be talking about today, as I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 hidden video game endings you weren't supposed to see. Number 10. Master Chief Finds Some Allies – Halo Infinite Several weeks after Halo Infinite was released late last year, data miners discovered the existence of a tantalizing mid credit scene which had evidently been scrapped by developers 343 Industries. The scene depicts Master Chief and his pilot mate riding the Pelican as they intercept a message from a friendly ship. The ship has a UNSC tag with the designation Friend, which is important given that the UNSC incurred catastrophic losses from the Banished at the start of the game. This seems to suggest that Chief and Esperanza will team up with the remnants of the UNSC to take on the Endless in the next Halo game. Or it would were this scene not ripped out of Infinite and included only in piecemeal, unpolished form. Ultimately, removing the scene does nothing to prevent any of the storytelling possibilities implied by it, but perhaps suggests that 343 wasn't 100% committed to this narrative direction just yet, and wanted to give themselves an out just in case they changed course. Given that Halo 6 is likely many years away, it was probably a smart call to remove the scene if they weren't totally confident in the plot point. Number 9. The Courier Joins the Think Tank – Fallout New Vegas Old World Blues DLC what would any Bethesda game be without a ton of discarded content simply sitting around in the game files just waiting to be uncovered by enterprising fans? This is even true of their DLC updates, such as Fallout New Vegas' Old World Blues expansion, which in addition to several proper endings, included a fascinating cut one in which the player is able to join the Think Tank, the collective pre-war scientists who have replaced their aging bodies with machines. Beyond persuading the Think Tank to stay in the Big MT research facility or simply killing them, which are both possible real endings, this unused ending posed a much darker alternative – to join their side and assist them in their grotesque experiments on the residents of the wasteland. One of these experiments involved infecting the afflicted with a vegetation-based STD that grew like a fungus within the victim's genitalia until their bodies burst open like pods. Yikes indeed. New Vegas' writer Chris Avalone later confirmed that Obsidian's art team had even created ending slides for this rather bleak alternative ending, yet Bethesda ultimately vetoed including it due to its grim content. And let me tell you, the writing staff clearly wasn't too thrilled about that decision. Number 8. Raziel exterminates all of the vampires in Nosgoth – Legacy of Cain – Soul Reaver now, Legacy of Kane's Soul Reaver had quite the troubled development, with the game ultimately being delayed almost an entire year and causing developers Crystal Dynamics to cut a huge amount of planned material. However, due to concerns that removing the cut assets from the game data could cause unexpected glitches, director Amy Hennig decided to keep them hidden within it. And so, hackers had quite the trove of unused content to pour over, including sound files which paint a vivid picture of what the game's curtailed original ending was supposed to be. The final release game ends on a cliffhanger after hero Raziel battles Kane at the Chronoplast. But the audio data indicates that old Raz here was supposed to fight and defeat Kane in a follow-up battle, and then scale the silenced cathedral superweapon and activate it. This would in turn kill every single vampire left in Nosgoth, but with Raziel being a vampire turned wraith, he would presumably be spared. Now This sounds awesome, even if it would have written the team into a corner creatively for the sequel, which would have likely had to fudge some facts and retcon the vampire genocide anyway. Number 7. Agent 47 Gets Cremated – Hitman Blood Money Hitman Blood Money ends with Agent 47 being apparently double-crossed by his handler Diana, who injects him with a poison that seemingly kills him. But in reality, Diana injects him with a serum which induces a death-like state, causing the villainous Kane to hold a funeral for 47 which was set to end with his cremation, ensuring his genetic material would be totally obliterated. As the funeral takes place, the game shockingly rolls the end credits while 47 just lays there dead in the crematorium, except this isn't really the end of the game. 
game. Because Diana injects 47 with an antidote to the serum during the funeral, players are able to interrupt the credits and rouse him back to life, murdering the gathered members of the shadowy franchise, including Kane. Yet those who didn't interrupt the credits actually get to see 47 be lowered down into the cremation chamber, even if developer IO Interactive stopped short of showing the cremation itself. However, hackers eventually discovered the existence of a fully modeled cremation chamber below the main crematorium, suggesting that IO originally intended to show 47 being turned to ash for anyone who didn't interrupt the credits. And that's a damn shame that it got cut, because while 47's death obviously isn't canon, it would have been fascinating to see him burnt to a crisp all the same. Number 6. Joseph is a cult leader. Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator. Visual novel dating sim Dream Daddy was released back in 2017 and was largely praised for being an enjoyable, wholesome feat of LGBT representation in the gaming sphere. But mere days after the game's release, data miners uncovered an unused additional ending. This ending would reveal that one of the potential dateable daddies, Youth Minister Joseph, is the leader of a dangerous demonic cult and has imprisoned the player character underground. The ending sparked a major tonal left turn from the rest of the game and was assumed by many to have effectively been a joke ending concocted solely for the developer's own amusement, and that it was one that was never intended to see the light of day. Since its discovery, fan reception has been mixed, with some even begging Game Grumps to implement it into the game in earnest, whilst others felt that it was problematic, a dated depiction of a queer religious man. Either way, some committed players recreated the full ending in a visual novel engine using all of the assets embedded into the game's files, allowing those curious to see it for themselves. Number 5. The UFO Ending Silent Hill 4 The Room it's little secret these days that the first three Silent Hill games feature a number of distinct endings. And more to the point, each one of them has at least one joke ending. In all three games, there's a silly UFO ending where aliens descend upon Silent Hill. And though Silent Hill 4 The Room features four possible endings, there's no joke ending to be found. But data miners eventually discovered the existence of an item in the game which suggests a UFO ending was originally planned before being scrapped. A channeling stone is included within Silent Hill 4's game code, and given that the object was used to unlock the UFO ending in the first two Silent Hill games, it likely would have followed suit here. The fact that the channeling stone has been fully modelled and even has a text description suggests that it was cut pretty late in development, but why Konami opted to remove a long-standing staple of the series remains a mystery. Sadly, the UFO ending cutscene itself doesn't appear to be concealed within the game's code, because a lot of fans sure would have loved to have seen it. Number 4. You Get Kicked Off The Farm – Harvest Moon Unlike every other hidden ending on this list, this one can actually be achieved by simply playing the game, or rather, not playing. Accessing the worst ending in Harvest Moon requires such a monumental heft of non-effort that Nintendo likely assumed that nobody would ever actually see it. The so-called complete failure ending can be achieved by doing the least intuitive thing in the game possible, and that is absolutely nothing. The farming sim encourages you to grow crops, raise livestock, socialize, and get married, but if you decide to sack all of that off and just hit the hay without doing anything else day after day, after the game's three-year time period is up, you'll get kicked off the farm for being a good-for-nothing layabout. To rub salt in the wound, even your dog will initially run after you and then just give up seemingly confining you to just a life as a lonely drifter. Because of the sheer committed effort to nothing that this ending requires, few have likely ever seen it the hard way, and likely nobody has unlocked it organically without knowing about it beforehand. Number 3. Maria Becomes a Vampire – Castlevania Symphony of the Night now, a ton of unused audio can be found within the game data for the beloved Castlevania Symphony of the Night, including many alternate dialogues and encounters between characters, and most interestingly of all, a starkly different unused ending. Now, we can glean from the audio clips that this ending would have seen vampire huntress Maria either possessed or turned into a vampire by the game's primary villain Shaft. Moreover, players would then have to battle the possessed or turned Maria, with the audio suggesting that it was possible for Maria to perish in the ensuing battle after she makes Dracula's castle collapse. In the game's official guide, assistant director and lead programmer Koji Igarashi confirmed that such a scenario was indeed planned for the game, but most of the excised material received the chop due to capacity and timing. Number 2. Lara Gets a Letter from Jacqueline Nutler Shadow of the Tomb Raider 
Within days of Shadow of the Tomb Raider being released, a fan discovered that those who didn't install the game's day one patch would actually be able to view a different post credit scene. The two scenes admittedly aren't massively different, both showing Lara Croft planning her next adventure in aesthetically distinct versions of Croft Manor, though in the original deleted scene, the camera lingers for a few seconds on a letter sent to Lara from Jacqueline Natler. This name will be immediately familiar to long-standing Tomb Raider fans, given that she was the antagonist of the series' very first game way back way in 1996. However, for reasons that remain unknown, developers Eidos Montreal opted to remove this reference in their final version of the scene. After the unpatched version made its way online, the developer even issued a statement clarifying what happened. They said, During the course of development on Shadow of the Tomb Raider, multiple post credit scenes were explored. Unfortunately, one of the directions that was considered but not chosen was mistakenly included in the game. The day one patch fixes this error. And number one, Gregory kills Jennifer, Rule of Rose. Cult survival horror game Rule of Rose was released way back in 2006, though in recent years data miners have had a field day digging into its data and uncovering a treasure trove of material that was dummied out before release. Perhaps most prominently, this includes a secret ending which got far enough that developers' punchline even fully rendered the FMV video for it, even though the audio was evidently unfinished. The scene in question shows protagonist Jennifer failing to sneak past the murderous Gregory Wilson, who then kills Jennifer's beloved pet Labrador retriever Brown before beating Jennifer to death with a shovel. The end. It's fair to assume that this was originally intended as a game over or bad ending for players who got caught by Gregory during the game's gingerbread house chapter, but in the final version of the game, Gregory will simply lock you up if he catches you. That the scene got so far into development as to be fully rendered in FMV indicates that the ending got the chop pretty deep into development. And to be honest, for how creepy it is, I'm kind of glad about that. And there we go, my friends. Those were 10 hidden video game endings you weren't supposed to see. I hope that you enjoyed that, and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below. As always, I've been Jules. You can go follow me over on Twitter at RetroJ, but the O is a zero, or Instagram, where it's the same handle, RetroJ, but the O is a zero. Hope to see you over there. As always, I've been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.